Sam, just your, your takeaways from this one, um, how the locker room's feeling. Obviously, I'm sure you got clearly disappointed in the first half with the way you guys fought back. But just the, I'm curious what the lock, the mood in the locker room, kind of how you guys are taking this one right now. Yeah, you know, obviously, it's a tough one. It's one that we, we really wanted, especially after the game up at FSU, uh, only about a week ago, week and a half ago. Um, so, yeah, obviously, that's a bit of a sting, but... Um, the thing Coach Al emphasized with us in the locker room after that was just, you know, keep, keeping our heads high, keeping the energy high, because, you know, we, we, we fought hard for that one and um, it just didn't have a great first half. Everyone could see that. Um, but the the, uh, the energy and fight that guys brought and, uh, you know, I also want to like thank the fans as well, because that was probably the loudest game I've ever been a part of at the Watsco Centre. Um, so they were they were huge in that, you know, getting us back into that game, that energy that they had as well. So hopefully we can get that back next next home game. Got Adam Lichtenstein from the Sun Sentinel. Adam, hey Sam. So yeah, like you said, you're obviously not the best first half uh, in the locker room at halftime. What was kind of like the message from the coaches to you guys, you know, about staying in the game because it could have been very easy to kind of just put your heads down and just kind of you know, roll out the rest of the game? I and mean, what did they tell you at halftime to kind of keep you guys in the game? Yeah, so, um, you know, we had that that idea that when we're coming out, we're going to put a, immense pressure on them. We're going to start on a full court press and we were going to mix it up. Uh, you know, I was out there um, on ball screens. We'd double, double them, even if they, they would slip out so they wouldn't actually set the ball screen. We still wanted to just pursue the ball handler and get him to make a bad choice or something like that. And, and that, that was working for us. You know, they were... They were getting stagnant in their offense, and they were they were turning the ball over, giving us opportunities. So I feel like that that worked for us, and um, we ran a little bit of zone, I think, in the second half as well. That uh, just just mixing it up, making them uncomfortable, and not really knowing what's coming. Um, and you know, also on guys' minds, like we, we we'd been there before. You know, uh, we had a pretty bad first half against Syracuse when they came here, um, and and we fought back and were able to get the win there. So um, that was also on our minds, like you know, like. We have experience. We know what to expect. We know what we need to do. And uh, you now we put ourselves in a great position to win that one. But, uh, yeah. Going out of Michelle Kaufman from the Miami Herald. Michelle. Hey, Sam. Um, can you talk about that dunk at the end that, you know, the whole place just went insane. What were you thinking at that moment? Did you think you guys were definitely going to win the game at that point? Yeah, well, you know, you, we never really. Uh, Coach Al always emphasizes you never never play the uh, never play the score. You always play the game, and you put immense immense effort into into the game. Um, but you know, on that dunk, you know, the crowd was lots of energy. I think they cut it down to one. Um, and yeah, you know, obviously, when you put yourself in that position, that position, you're, you're always feeling good, especially where we were at the beginning of the first half. You know, um, you know, I think I think every person on our team had a good feeling that we were. We're going to take that one, but uh, you know we, we got a, we got a shot from one of the best shot makers in the country, uh, you know, and uh, didn't go down. He's he's made shots like that before for us in, in previous years, but uh, you know that's just how it goes sometimes. Can you talk about what makes FSU such a tough opponent? You've had two really close games with them, and and both of them fell short. What is it that they do? You know, they they're a team that in you know, this year and previous years, they always have size. Uh, so, you know, they, they take up a lot of room uh, on the floor and that that helps them on defense line. They're, they're a tremendous defensive team. Um, you know, when you drive into that paint, uh, you know, they crowd you and it, it's quite difficult to find guys. But um, I, feel, I feel like we actually did a pretty good job when we got into the paint, uh, kicking it out But in that first half. Uh, Threes weren't really dropping for us or anything like that. The open looks that we were getting, uh, but, you know, they're they're a very good team, um, and hopefully, you know, ACC tournament or something like that. I, I really hope we get to see them again because you know, I really want <laughs> really want to get a dub against them. It's been a while. Go back to Chris Stock. Sam, you, you you touched on Isaiah, um, one of the best shot maker shot makers you said in the country i'm curious you've seen him do this today 18 in the second half the two point four point plays he was able to drive and kick one out to you i'm curious what it's like kind of watching him and and kind of your confidence in him seeing what he's able to do out there on the court for you guys no Zay's amazing and uh you know it's not something that's a surprise to you 
in the game because you see it every day. Uh, you know, he works on shots like that. He, he puts him out of a tremendous amount of effort into his game uh, in practice and on the court. So it's not it's not really a surprise. But yeah, some of the things he does, you know, the, the control he has, um, especially when he's surrounded by, uh, I think he had a layup in that second half. I, I had no idea how it went down, but that's just Zay Wong, you know. Uh, again, as I said, one of the best shot makers in the country. And um, but yeah, every guy in our locker room, we have, a, a, like, a, a huge amount of trust in, in, in Zay Wong because yeah, he, he clearly shows that he can he can do things like that. Isaiah, two things. One, what does it say about your team that you were able to come from 26 down at one point in the game to, to make it a one-point game? And then on that same topic, I mean, losing to this team twice in 11 days by one point, how, you know, how does that make your team feel? Um. What we saw from today from our team is just we were hard working. Even we had off first half, but the second half we just we just stayed together, came back, and tried to put in as much effort as we can because we could have just just quit the game in the first half and because we was down by like twenty six. But we all stayed we all stayed on together, and that's what I like about this team. We all play hard to the end, and we get we can make any comeback even if we down by as many points as possible, but we always have that hope that we can still win the game, even though we, we're not doing so well. So with all that, we just, we didn't have a good start at the first half, but that's that's how that's how some games go. But um, just the effort we gave in, it's just, it's a, it's a good effort. And um, what's the second question? The second part was losing two heartbreakers by one point to FSU. <laughs> I don't think you've beaten FSU, right, since you've been here. No, um, I haven't beaten FSU. But those are two, yeah, those are two heartbreakers. Just both games going down by one possession is just we like ACC. We're going to get those types of games. So just we just got to keep on, keep on going through the through the through the madness and just keep on going. And some games we're gonna we're gonna hit some game winners. Some games we're not. So we just gonna get through it, and we just gonna keep on compile these wins and prepare for the ACC tournament and, and try to try to get our get our wins up to March Madness. What did you see on that last shot? What were you thinking on the very last shot there? Um, I was trying to attack attack to the paint attack the paint last possession, but they they trapped me, and I just had to I just went off an instinct and just shot the ball fade away and I missed it. Going out of Wyatt Copelman, WVUM Wyatt. Isaiah, obviously not the result you guys wanted tonight, but as that deficit continued to decrease in the second half, what, what was Coach L's message in the timeout huddle after you guys continued to rally, make some shots finally? Um, just keep on, keep on putting the pressure because they was turning the ball over and we was getting, we was trimming that lead down little by little. And we just kept on pressuring and we kept on getting good looks. And first half we got good looks, we were just not hitting. But when the second start, start, second half started coming in, we started making more shots and playing better defense and getting, getting stops. And we just kept on going off of that. Go to Chris Stock from inside the unit. Yeah, Isaiah, I'm, I'm curious, what your take is on this team you guys are eight games in the acc schedule what you guys have been able to do and, and i'm you know competing for I, i'm just curious where you see this team um I, I know these are the type of games you've wanted to be in since you've gotten to miami uh, what, what do you think of this team because you did say you know you you enjoy this team you like this team the way they fought fought back just kind of big picture where you see this team right now um i see this team as one of the top teams in the acc um, as a, as a player, I just look look at these players and be like, yeah, he's one of the top top players in the ACC, and he plays hard, plays plays at best, and all these players are just they all play hard and they're all veterans and they all can make it, and um, they all can make open shots and they all can play defense at a great at a great um yeah just at a um great um at a great, great pace. Yeah, great rate. Uh, yeah. The fir the first half, Isaiah, what wasn't going right for you guys offensively? How would you kind of describe that first half? Um, we was we we turned the ball over early, but we started figuring out and we started kicking out. But when we were starting kicking out, we wasn't making open shots, so we started we we wasn't hitting shots. But I checked, we was like at 
13 percent or something in the first half of three pointers but we just kept on going and we were just not getting as much as much on um, paint touches and kick out so we when we started doing that we started we started hitting and we started we started um, coming back in the second half so it was just a all first half for us